3D printed houses. Have you ever heard of such? Let's check this out together. This is now the world's largest 3D printed community. Lennar, one of the nation's biggest home builders, partnered with Icon, a 3D printing company, to build the community. 100 homes finished faster than it would have taken to build conventionally. Mm. This community, on the outskirts of Austin, was a trial run that took roughly two years to print. But the lessons learned here promise to make the process even faster in the future. You can't learn that stuff in a lab. You have to get out here in the field That's with the crazy. weather, with That's the trades. Crazy. You have to put it out there for customers. Labor is lean, and the cost of building materials is rising. 3D printing could solve some of that. Critical at a time when housing All affordability is about the worst in history, and the nation is short roughly 4 million homes. Mm. Holly Feekings and her husband moved in just over a year ago. Well, my son discovered it first, and um, he's a techie, and he was enthralled with the actual concept and the energy efficiency. And then we realized, you know, it was really a safe home for two old folks. Single level, no stairs. The homes are high-tech, energy efficient, wind, fire, and mold mm. resistant. This is a significant improvement in evolving a housing market that has the ability to change over time. This was an experiment for Lennar and costs were slightly higher as they worked through the kinks, but Miller says he's all in. The ability to adapt modern product to what we need for the future in housing, in building a healthier housing market is amazing. Paul, so before we go any deeper, 3D printed housing. So let me know, would you stay in a 3D printed house? Of course, we're about to go into what makes up these 3D printed homes. But again, would you entertain the idea of living in one? Let me know in the comments. Wow. Come on in. Welcome to our home. Holly Feekings and her husband are retired. They've always lived in traditional homes, but they saw several reasons to try the 3D printed model. What's great is there's no studs, so you can hang pictures and everything anywhere you want. You have to use screws to drill through the, you know, concrete type wall, but it's been wonderful. The homes here start at just under $400,000. That's mm. about comparable to other larger homes in the area. So what do you what? like, you know, mm -hmm. the most about this house? Oh, gosh. Really, the energy efficiency? Feking says her electric bill was just $26 in January, much lower when compared to the average bill for conventional homes. You do have to run your air on hot days, of course, but it, it'll hold its temperature. You don't have to check the thermostat and everything's automatic. And uh, because of the construction, it really helps. It's very peaceful to live here. And quiet, I imagine? Is it quieter? Very quiet. We have a major road right out back and we don't hear it. And that's the concrete? It's the concrete in the insulated windows. Icon and Lennar announced their plans to build this community in 2022. Since then, large-scale robots worked without a break, squeezing out homes like toothpaste, ultimately at the rate of one every two weeks. CNBC toured this construction site back in 2022. Now we're on an active print site, so this is home number six in the queue. So actually what we do is we take digital, in any sort of standard digital software, we import it into our system we call BuildOS, and it prepares it for robotic construction. So it will automatically do the like structural reinforcement placing, the electrical outlets, the plumbing outlets, those kind of things. The promise of robotic construction is the promise of automation, reducing labor, therefore reducing labor costs. So right now, mm. minimum number of operators is three. I think in the next 12 months, we'll remove, we'll automate the magma completely. So we'll be down to about two. And I think the sort of holy grail is where one person can watch a dozen systems. You need one person Ooh. to watch a dozen systems. But as of now, you have three people building a house. Which is not bad. As printing progressed, Icon learned how to do it faster and with less labor. 
the things we had to learn uh, on this project that we had never done before were like all the logistics of working at scale and the operations of fielding. You know, I think it, uh, at our highest moment, we had like 11 printers out here working. And so figuring out materials delivery, shift changes, all the logistics uh, of getting printers in the field and then working in concert with the rest of the Lennar trades to lay foundations, print walls, have people come in and finish out the homes. The partnership is unique because Lennar is such a large legacy builder and Icon is so new and so small. This is really in its infancy, as you've said before, 3D printing, we don't see a lot of it. Why is a company as large as Lennar getting into this now? So listen, we're just getting started. This is all about innovation. How much will you invest in the technology and in Icon? Well, we continue to invest in a variety of strategies around changing the methods of production, of construction, and we expect to take this all the way through. I mean, this is the first 100 homes, but we expect to be able to bring this to scale. And at scale, we really bring cycle times down and we also bring costs down. Hmm. A project like this, they're able to build a whole house from the ground up with like three people working a, a robot. And he said eventually one operator could work 12 different robots that's building houses. You talk about jobs that's about to be lost, man. Technology like this right here is cutting edge and it is something special because it reduces labor. And with that being said, it takes away jobs too. That's what I was thinking about. Like, typically it takes a lot of different people to build a house, you know, a lot of different trades to go in to build a house. And I'm pretty sure they still have to go get those trades to go install certain systems, but just building the house up. All you need is one of these robots and it's going to lay the house out. That's crazy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's keep going. Completing the community was a learning process for both Icon and Lennar. The biggest disappointment in the project was, you know, uh, the very painful learnings for about the first third of the project. We were taking twice as long as we knew on paper we should be taking. Our costs were about twice as much as we knew they should be on paper. And so that was a little bit of a kick in the gut at the beginning. But you, you get out here, you work it out. And then by the end, we were like on pace and on target. And so well, we got there, but it was, you know, you, you got to get out here and take your punches to learn the lessons. What they learned here was a lot. They don't need the walls to be quite as thick. That'll save significant time in printing and money for concrete. They'll also move to a more open floor plan, reducing interior walls. Then they found a more efficient way to move their printers from model to model, which will also save time and labor costs. For an industry that really hasn't changed at all in 200 years, in the last two years, we've seen an innovation that actually works. But there's an important caveat. These homes are in an area that allows for faster building. In cities that have tighter building laws, homes may be more difficult to print. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Other companies like Eden Homes, also in Texas, and Mighty Buildings and Emergent 3D in California are working on similar projects, but have yet to scale to this many at once. Are these homes as profitable for Lennar as your regular homes? Right now, they're not. They are mildly less profitable, which is fine. That's the innovation cycle. It takes time. It takes scale. Lennar and Icon are already in the planning stages of their next community, just seven miles away. It'll have twice as many homes, and they expect to bring them in at a more affordable price point. Since we finished this community, we've, we've internally had like a whole redesign of our wall system to be even faster, even more affordable, and to even better integrate with the rest of the trades that have to work around what we do. Ballard says they're still designing the next community, but the homes will be larger with a more efficient and much less costly wall system. They'll use the same printers, but he's already looking to new technology. 
the next generation of printer is a printer designed to be able to print the entire envelope of the home, the foundation, the wall system, up to multi-story wall system, uh, and even roof structures uh, as the designs dictate. And we're very interested in looking with Lennar at these like hurricane prone areas, wildfire prone areas, because all of a sudden you have a, uh, an entirely resilient shell of a building. I feel safer in this house than any house I've ever lived in because um, it's so well built, it's not gonna burn down. If you look at the wind load in hurricane zones, the opportunity to build this home throughout the state of Florida, my home state, is amazing. In California, sadly, whether it's the rebuilding or whether it's just regular production, the opportunity to build using fire-resistant materials is amazing. We're at early stages with this, but as we mature, we think it can be a sizable part of our business. So, 3D printed homes. What are your take on 3D printed homes? They are something new right now. They just said they're not making a profit on it, but it's interesting. Very interesting. And I appreciate y'all checking me out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.